Hi, I'm Jen with Making the Photo. AI image generators like Midjourney and Dolly aren't really designed to include text on your image, but it can be done. In this video, we'll cover 10 tips and tricks for generating AI text on your images. You can get some amazing AI generated text with unique fonts, but AI image generators struggle to consistently make text that is both beautiful and readable. Generating text takes some patience and persistence and a little bit of luck. Midjourney is my primary AI image generator, so most of my examples are from Midjourney. But I've also explored Dali and Stable Diffusion. None of the platforms seem any better than the others in terms of adding text to images. AI image generators see words and text visually. They don't read the text. They don't seem to understand the underlying syntax or logic to the language system. The text may be readable, but with mistakes, or it might be gibberish. Some AI tools like Jasper are designed specifically to create understandable text, but an AI image generator looks at text more like a graphic placeholder, something along the lines of the dummy text lorem ipsum. This is how AI image generators seem to see the text. It looks good, but it doesn't care about the details. Whether you are trying to make a movie poster, a Christmas card, or a subscribe button for your growing YouTube channel, let's explore 10 tips and tricks to help you create readable text in your AI generated image. Tip one, start your prompt with the words that you want to include in your image. Sometimes AI skips parts of your prompt, but it will often catch the words at the beginning. Set the word or words apart from the rest of the prompt. You can use quotes and commas, or you can separate the words with a double colon in mid-journey and then weight the word. You can see from this mid-journey prompt that I added negative weights to the misspellings. I'm not sure this had an effect, but keep this tip in mind. Tip two, repeat, repeat, and repeat some more. Repeat the text throughout the prompt. This adds weight to your words. Repeat the text straight at the beginning of the prompt, as I did with this mid-journey movie poster, or look for opportunities to repeat the words at different points in your prompt. The AI will sometimes skip parts of your prompt, and spacing out the words may increase the chance that the AI will latch onto the words. Tip three, describe how you want your text to look. AI image generators work with visuals all the time. Describing how the font looks is in the AI's comfort zone. Describe the colors, the medium, ink for instance, the form, and the font styles. There are thousands of different fonts, but you don't need to be that specific. Try out different font styles. Here are a few suggestions. But be creative. This is your chance to create a font never seen before like this tentacle font. Do you want words made out of snakes, smoke, sardines? Describing the font is another chance to repeat the text. And here are the results for my tentacle font using the same prompt in Dali 2. It seemed to catch the gist the first time, but not quite. It's burp, but it's also roop. Tip four, describe the physical format of the background where the text appears. Mediums that traditionally have words, like a book, magazine, poster, or business card, give the AI a head start. The AI will pick up on the aesthetic of the format, but you can specify a simpler background. You can specify a white background or a black background, or you can ask for a colorful background, like I did for one of my opening slides. Tip five, mix synonyms for text and words throughout the prompt. You can also try using verbs like write. If you can be specific, use words like headline or book title instead of more generic terms. If the AI doesn't catch one of the words, it might latch on to another. Tip six, make variations. You won't necessarily get the text you want the first time. Adding text to AI images sometimes needs many attempts. Create variations of the best renderings and keep making variations. If you see successful text, don't assume that this came out right the first time. The text may get better, or it might get worse, and you'll have to backtrack and re-roll the original prompt. To create this mid-journey movie poster, I made variations, remixed, remastered, and upscaled a dozen or more times. Adding text to your AI image sometimes takes patience and persistence. Tip 7. 
feed your text into the AI as an image prompt. You can use Photoshop or any number of photo editors. I used an inspirational quote template in Canva and a stock image. The image doesn't matter as much as the words. Using an image prompt in Midjourney seemed to cut down on the number of variations I needed to run. Tip 8. Shorter text strings are generally easier to achieve. The longer the text, the more ways it can go wrong in the image generation process. Edit your text and use simple words. For this video, I created movie posters. I started with how to put words on images and shortened it to putting words on images and that was still pretty adventurous. Single letters are relatively easy for the AI image generators. You'll have a better chance creating common words or phrases like hello, stop, or happy birthday. Tip nine, if you're using an AI image generator that has in-painting, like DALI 2, you may be able to fix incorrect text. Choose the version that is closest to the word or words you want. Click edit. Using the eraser, take out the words or letters that are incorrect in the prompt. In the prompt bar, write what you want to see instead. And click generate. It doesn't do it right every time, but this correct one was my in my first set of generations. And finally, tip 10. Sometimes you can get close in AI and then clean up your image in a photo editing program. In this case, simply removing the extra text. For this image, I'll use the clone tool in the free online app, Pixlr. I have a tutorial video on how to use Photoshop to remove unwanted elements from your image. And my video on removing Dali's watermark also covers removing elements. I'll put links to these videos in the description below. With this clean slate, you can add your own words. Click Add Text, and there are a lot of templates to choose from in programs like Pixlr. Choose one you like and type in your text. Now explore the options like size and spacing and color. I'm using Canva to create this video. In this app, it's easy to add text to an image. Open an image in Canva or add an image to a template. You've got a lot of editing tools available, including Remove Background. You can work from a template, but we're going to add text from scratch. Click Text, and you have a lot of preset text combinations to choose from. Pick one you like. I'm going to use this quote format. You can change the size of the text and move it around. You also have quite a few size and color effects to choose from. Adding text is easy with Canva. Using Photoshop to add text is a little bit of overkill, but there is one feature that I like in Photoshop. The feature that I like is Match Font. Go to the Type drop-down menu and select Match Font. Position the box over the text that was created by your AI image generator, and Photoshop will find a font that is closest to this font. In this case, the Rosewood font. Click OK and it will select the font. It's not an exact match, but it might work. I'm going to use another image and click the text tool and type in the text. You have quite a few options for adjusting your text in Photoshop. Words are one of the things that AI image generators don't do quite so well. It's ironic that an AI trained to understand text in order to create images doesn't actually understand text in images, but that's how it is. 
at least for now. It understands the words just fine. It doesn't understand how to write the words on the image. Sometimes the AI stubbornly refuses to add the words. In this case, it's much easier to add the words in a program like Pixlr or Photoshop. The good news is that as the AI improves, it's likely that adding text to images will become easier. If you found a few tricks for adding text to images, let us know in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.